Strawberry Production Series. In this video, we will walk through calculating spring fertigation application rates for plastic culture strawberry production. Proper crop nutrition maximizes strawberry fruit production and fruit quality and protects against applying excess nutrients, which saves you time and money. Some of the key nutrients that strawberries require for optimum fruit production are nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, and other key nutrients, with nitrogen being the most important as it's essential for plant growth. Research at North Carolina State University recommends growers apply 60 pounds of nitrogen per acre through the drip system in the spring to plastic culture strawberries. This research was developed for the cultivars Chandler and Camarosa. New recommendations for modern cultivars are being evaluated in several states in the Southeast. Check with your local extension service to verify the rates recommended in your area. In Arkansas and the Mid-South, it's recommended to make fertigation applications weekly, starting around March 1st to March 15th, when new spring growth is visible, and continue for six to 10 weeks until mid to late fruit harvest. Initial fertigation application rates should be 0.75 to one pound of nitrogen per acre per day, or 5.25 to seven pounds of nitrogen per acre per week. These rates should be adjusted based on petiole analysis. See our video on leaf tissue nutrient sampling for more information on this process. Common conventional fertilizers used for spring fertigation of strawberry include potassium nitrate and calcium nitrate. Potassium nitrate supplies additional potassium, which is required by the plant to grow and produce fruit in the spring. Calcium nitrate is often rotated in during fruit set and early fruit coloring to improve fruit firmness. These fertilizers are best applied to the soil through drip irrigation. Foliar applications of nitrogen and potassium fertilizers are an inefficient way to apply nitrogen to the crop. Boron is the only fertilizer that can be applied directly on the leaves and still achieve good plant uptake of the nutrient. A common question new growers have is how to figure out how much fertilizer to apply to their rows of strawberries. Let's look at an example scenario to figure out how much fertilizer to put out each week to meet your plant's needs. In this example scenario, Farmer Jill has a strawberry planting of 15 rows that are 150 feet long with bed tops that are three feet wide. Based on Jill's soil samples, her recommendation is to apply seven pounds of nitrogen per acre per week. And in Jill's fertilizer program, she'll be using calcium nitrate and potassium nitrate. In order to figure out how much of each fertilizer farmer Jill needs to put out each week, we need to calculate the total acreage being fertilized and how much fertilizer per acre is needed to meet the recommended weekly rate of seven pounds of nitrogen per acre per week. First, let's figure out the total acreage of Jill's 15 rows of strawberries. Since Jill will be applying the fertilizer through a drip irrigation system, we only need to calculate the area of the rows instead of the entire planting. We'll use the following formula to calculate the acreage for one row of Jill's strawberries. Row length times row width divided by 43,560, which is the number of square feet in one acre. So we'll take the row length times the row width divided by 43,560 to get around 0.01 acres. It's important to not round up any of your numbers during this process to ensure a more accurate calculation. Now that we know how many acres are in one row, we can figure out how many total acres Jill will be fertilizing. We'll use the following formula to calculate the total acreage. Row area times the number of rows. Let's plug this into our formula. We'll take the row area, multiplied by the total number of rows, to get around 0.15 acres. Next, we'll need to figure out the amount of each fertilizer per acre Jill needs to apply to meet her recommendation of seven pounds of nitrogen per acre per week. 
We'll use the following formula to calculate the amount of each fertilizer. Amount of nitrogen needed divided by the percent of nitrogen in the fertilizer. To figure out the percentage of nitrogen and calcium nitrate, or for any fertilizer, you just need to look at the set of three numbers listed on the bag. These three numbers indicate the percentages of nitrogen, phosphate, and potash that are in the fertilizer. For calcium nitrate, the three numbers are 15-0-0, which means it has 15% nitrogen, 0% phosphate, and 0% potash. Let's plug this into our formula. The amount of nitrogen needed divided by the percent of nitrogen in the fertilizer, which is 15 divided by 100, to get 46.667 pounds of calcium nitrate per acre per week. Now let's do the same calculation for potassium nitrate. When you look at a bag of potassium nitrate, you'll see the set of numbers 13-0-45, which means it has 13% nitrogen, 0% phosphate, and 45% potash. Let's plug this into our formula. The amount of nitrogen needed, divided by the percent of nitrogen in the fertilizer, to get 53.8 pounds of potassium nitrate per acre per week. Now that we know the total acreage being fertilized and the amount of calcium and potassium nitrate we need, we can calculate the weekly amount of each fertilizer Jill needs to meet her seven pounds of nitrogen per acre per week. We'll use the following formula. Total acreage being fertilized multiplied by the amount of fertilizer per acre per week. Let's start with calcium nitrate. We'll take the total acreage being fertilized multiplied by the amount of calcium nitrate needed per acre per week to get 7.23 pounds of calcium nitrate per week. Now we'll do the same for potassium nitrate. We'll take the total acreage being fertilized multiplied by the amount of potassium nitrate needed per acre per week to get 8.34 pounds of potassium nitrate per week. In this scenario, Jill will need to apply 8.34 pounds of potassium nitrate or 7.23 pounds of calcium nitrate each week to meet the recommended rate of 7 pounds of nitrogen per acre per week. Once we've calculated how much fertilizer is needed weekly for our rows of strawberries, we can now create a strawberry fertility schedule for the season. It should be noted that these application rates should be adjusted based on petiole and leaf tissue nutrient analysis, which might recommend higher or lower weekly rates of nitrogen than shown in the example. This same approach can be used to determine fertilizer rates for other crops or when using other fertilizers. You just need to know the nitrogen rate you want to apply and the nitrogen content of the fertilizer you plan to use. It's important to take into account nitrogen credits for cover crops or compost applications when determining your nitrogen fertigation rates in the spring. We will cover calculating nitrogen additions from cover cropping and compost later on in this series. To learn more about research and resources related to sustainable strawberry production in Arkansas, visit our webpage at uaex.uada.edu forward slash sustainable dash strawberry. Special thank you to the Southern Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education Program for their support of this project. Thanks so much for watching.